What's going on, guys? Probably not going to be too active on social media a couple days, or at least... I just don't really... Look, what it is, really, is yesterday I was bitching about, like, all that shit, and whatever, and... What, what it also comes down to is, now that it's Christmas time and everyone's out doing shit, I'm going to have, like, my apartment to myself again for a little bit, and I'm just going to chill. I'm going to go see family, and I'm going to come back, and then I'm probably going to have, like, fiascos and shit to deal with. So, in case you guys haven't realized it, most of the time I'm only on social media when I'm, like, bored or I'm trying to be distracted from some bullshit going on in life. Like, someone's yelling at me or some bullshit. I'm like, oh, I mean, let me tweet about Theta right now. Oh, that bullshit. Anyways. I do want to say, um, so I'm not sure to what extent. I'm not really actually sure all the way, but apparently uh, someone's impersonating me on, look, I found out someone's impersonating me on a dating site because um, uh, I found, because someone is also impersonating a, a porn star on a dating site. So I matched with a porn star on Tinder and they had a thing to their, and it was like, I didn't know they were a porn star at first. I was like, they were really fucking hot. And uh, I hit them up on their, uh, what's going on? I'm not going to say their name, I promise I wouldn't. Hit them up on their Twitter. And they were like, uh, yeah, that's not me. Uh, I'm in San Diego. And I was like, what the fuck? Why were you just in D.C. matching? They're like, that's not me. And they're like, I matched with you and this other, I was like, that's not me. I don't even use that shit. And they're like, okay. So I only bring that up because um, the world we live in with social media. But anyways, again, that's why I say, like, the first thing you should do is video chat. Like, in this day and age, if you can't video chat with someone, there's something going on. That's all I can say. I was video chatting today with one of my girls. What's going on? How you doing? Home, good, Merry Christmas and whatnot. Video chat. Easy as fuck. I will say, I think she was video chatting me to make sure no one else was in bed with me or whatever. And I was just like... I was sleeping, <laughs> but it's cool. Um, not that she would have, not that it would have mattered. I'm just saying, but anyways, I'm not trying to be like a weirdo or a pervy or talk about all that bullshit. It's just like, I don't know. When you're a kid, everything's clear cut and black and white. As you get older, it starts, starts to like take on a whole other whatever. Anyways, um, the thing I really was even going to jump on to today is because um, just talking with, like, like think about it. In, like, ancient times, what would a porn star be in ancient times? It would be probably one of those, like, sex slaves that, you know, dances on the thingy and that people like, oh, wow, this is why we come to Rome and shit like that. You know, like, what what would, uh, what is, uh, you know, like, um, what is it, like the Praetorian Guard, you know, the ones who would kill the emperors and would, would install new emperors and let the corruption downfall of the Roman Empire. Probably like the CIA and the FBI and the NSA and all that bullshit. You just kind of put things into perspective is what I'm saying, right? So what made me want to jump on real fast is on this holiday season because people don't understand that we're actually, like Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus, okay? Christmas is a pagan holiday based around Saturn which is actually uh, tweaking our reality through frequency and control and all that bullshit and um, putting, you know, Santa and Jesus in it to make people forget about it and to, like, basically steal people's energy. That's a whole other thing I don't want to get into. It's very subtle. In it. And if you want to, like, when I say things like steal people's energy, I mean, like, you have to understand that, there's technology and science that they don't tell us. And what I mean by that, with a general overview without going into it, is television is a Mormon invention. It was invented by a Mormon person. Okay? It is operates very similarly to what is known as the glass harmonica, uh, as far as the frequencies and all that bullshit. This is, I don't want to go into all those specifics of it right now. That's a whole other topic. But... Uh, Benjamin Franklin had a glass harmonica and everyone was saying that like, Benjamin Franklin was an old dude who was banging a bunch of young girls they basically would say that they felt hypnotized when he would play their glass harmonica and, and he basically would brain control them through emotions and harmonics and make them like get hot and bothered and then he would fuck them so basically TV and all the programming on TV is basically a mind control thing to make everyone stupid and vapid and not pay attention now 
uh, I bring that up because the similar thing in Roman times would have been you know, bread and circus, you know, how do you, how do you steal people's freedoms? You give them bread and circus. How do you debase the currency? Bread and circus. Rome empire as an empire existed for four or 500 years because they basically debased the currency and gave everyone free bread and circus, right? So that's TV. Now, um, the thing that I wanted to focus on specifically It's just a little clogged. It's not too clogged. The thing I wanted to focus on specifically was there was a time in Rome. Basically, what they're doing now with the cryptocurrency and whatnot, they're trying to like, this is illegal and that's illegal. And even J.P. Morgan is like, oh, you can't buy it. You shouldn't buy it. It's going to zero, even though we're buying it and all that bullshit. Now, there was there was a there was a a, a bit of a change that happened towards the end of the Roman Empire. And what it was, was the invention of the serf. See, prior to that, there was slave, there was free man, and there was citizen. Now, essentially, as I understand it, like I didn't really live back then, and none of you did either, but as I understand it, you were a slave, you had no rights. You were a free man, you had rights. You were a citizen, you had rights and responsibilities. It's the best way I can say it, right? Now, what happened was, they invented serfs. Now, what a serf was, is like some kind of a tax slave. This is what I mean, right? Like, what are people doing right now? No one wants to keep their money in dollars, or at least not Federal Reserve dollars, Federal Reserve notes. Everyone's like, get me the fuck out of that shit, right? So they're fleeing the banks. So back in the day, when Rome started raising taxes, they didn't have fiat money and they didn't have paper currencies. They didn't have digital shit. They had wheat. They had salt. They had gold and silver. They had land, right? So if you had land and you farmed it, you owe taxes to the state. So if you own like an acre of land and they, and well, if you own 10 acres of land and, and you know, at first you, you owe them one acre and you get to keep nine acres for the tax. And all of a sudden, they're like, now now you owe us nine acres. You've got to keep one acre. You might just be like, well, fuck it. I don't want to do this anymore. So then you just like abandon your farm and you go live in the woods, right? Like Robin Hood and all that shit. That's where all that shit came from, right? And then um, what they did was because that wasn't illegal at the time. And then they were like, fuck, well, we can't kill them because then we have no one to work. We can't enslave them because this is type of a skilled work and we can't really beat them to do it because then they just won't do it, you know? And we can't really, um, and we can't really, you know, um, throw them in jail because the same thing. Then no one's going to work. So what they did is they passed a law with heavy fines uh, that punished the family and whatnot. That said, basically, it's illegal to abandon your farm uh, and go live off the land. So you, they basically made it illegal to not pay your taxes. Uh, to made, they made it illegal to not be a. They invented serfdom because it's like, okay, well, I'm not really, I'm like quasi free. Like, I'll be protected from murder and, and all that shit. Like, someone tries to steal from me, the guards will stop it because that's technically stealing from, from the king and all that shit. But I can't really go anywhere. I need a passport to go from this serfdom to that serfdom. And really, I'm kind of like, I'm not really, I'm like treated better than a slave. I can vote for the bullshit, but none of it really affects me. So I'm a serf, right? Don't, I, I don't not have rights, but I don't really have rights. So that's kind of what they're trying to go back to right now. And the main thing about serfdom is you have to keep in mind, it was for all the dumb people. In the Renaissance, what basically happened in the Renaissance was anyone who had any kind of willingness to improve their life did. And they basically became merchants or inventors and they became rich and they created generational wealth. And we're going through another type of a Renaissance right now. We're going through like a banking Renaissance. It's essentially... Everyone got stupid because they thought that someone else had their best interests at heart. Think about it, right? Oh, I'll just vote Democrat because they have my best interests at heart. Oh, I'll just vote Republican because they have my best interests at heart. The whole time you're getting older, you're paying taxes, and you're losing your freedoms, right? They don't give a shit about you, 
right? They give a shit about taking your things. That's it. They view you as as cattle. They view you as money on shoes, right? They're just trying to take your shit away. And all you got to do to keep it is do something else. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say on Christmas other than, I mean, do you guys really think that anything is going to change if you keep doing the same shit? Do you, do, do you really think getting likes and tweets and begging for money is going to change anything? I mean, if you begged for $5 last year and you were barely able to pay your rent with inflation, you think $5 is going to do shit for you next year? No, it's not. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that because think about it. We're seeing a new serfdom come up right now. How many of you all cannot pay your bills? How many of you... Um, uh, oh, shit, had that all fucked up. How many of you all now basically are like, well, I have to get the jab. Otherwise, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna take away my job. Uh, okay, well, it's because you have a shit job and you don't have the option of saying, I will take that job, I will take that job. Dude, last, yesterday, I did that job interview. I mean, that, that motherfucker gave me, like, A, I passed all my background checks, so I start working, uh, uh, what was it, the first Monday of, of January. But this motherfucker, like, so I don't need the job. And this motherfucker's giving me attitude and shit. And I'm like, look, man, like, we don't even have to do this interview if you want to be like that. We can just end it now. He's like, no, 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 I want to finish it. Well, you want to finish it. Why are you giving me attitude, right? And then he's like, well, let me ask you this question. And I answered his question, like, boom, like that. And he was like, can you expand on it? I was like, if you want me to. And then I expanded on it. He was like, uh, okay. And I was like, have a Merry Christmas. And they ended the Zoom call and all that bullshit. And then they were like, oh, we were impressed by your knowledge. I was like, actually, I think I'll just let you guys know that I want to withdraw my application and I really don't need this shit. Like, that's that's kind of shit I do. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to flex or, like, drop my balls on the table. I'm just saying, like, I mean, there's jobs that I want that tell me we're not going to accept you and we're looking for someone else and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, we interviewed you twice and the, so we'll interview someone else for the third time. And, like, okay, yeah, it's, that's the way life is. But I'm just saying, you know, so there's, there's ups and downs. But, like, if you're in a position where like all you can do is farm, all you can do is warehouse, all, all you can do is X, Y, Z, you're going to be a surf. They're making you a surf right now because I mean, like what, like even if you like ran away or you like tried to like live off the land and like, let's say they put you in some kind of like a, like a, like, let's say it's like Australia. They put you on the like COVID camps and you like hop the fence prison camp and have you work anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, like, no matter which way this thing goes, whether it goes to, you know, like, Great Reset or Great Awakening, either way, you're going to want to have better skills. Your li- Regardless of what how retarded everyone else is, your life will be better if you have better skills. If they go into Great Awakening and you have better skills, you'll be in a better position to, like, use those skills to make generational wealth and then make generational impact based on that wealth. If they go to Great Reset and you have skills you have a better chance of not being thrown in the camps and not being, you know, turned into a surf and all that bullshit because they will need you because someone's got to do all that shit because I've got news for you. These dumb motherfuckers can't do shit. I'm telling you, like, when you when you look beyond uh, all the curtains and all the bells and whistles and all the Republican and Democrat, you want to know what you see? You see the old money from the ancient times. It's all it is. It's all smoke and mirrors and these dumb motherfuckers who are the haves and you and I are the have-nots. And they want you to work. See, you guys, really, you, you don't, you don't hear yourselves, okay? These dumb motherfuckers say stupid shit like, "Oh, I had a job doing X, Y, Z. I didn't like it, so I started begging for money. I made a bunch of connections, or I, my family has a bunch of connections with shaky hand deals with all with all the secret societies. So I get a beg for money, and everyone likes and tweets me." Because you're all stupid, and if that guy does it, then you'll do it because you all think that it's actually him, but it's not. It's his social media manager with logged into 10 people's accounts doing all that shit. And you guys don't get it. You fall for that bullshit. That's why these dumb motherfucking, it's like the old old aristocracy's children just speak, instead of being like dukes and knights and shit like that, and then never going to fight and having all the medals anyways, they just became like movie stars and fucking... You know, like magazine editors and shit like that. It's all bullshit. This is, again, why back in the day and during the Renaissance and the Middle Ages and all that bullshit, they did not like you if you were, um, um, if you were like an actor or if you were like, if you didn't do anything that, with, that had a use to it, they would call you a drag of society. You were like, they're like, oh, you're a gypsy? Well, come on in. Yeah, man, like gypsies are cool because every now and then we need someone to play the music in the festival. Oh, shit, you're an actor? I mean, you can sleep in the horse shit. 
you can put on the show if you want to, but like gypsies first and then the actors, then the fucking, you know, town crier and all that bullshit. So, I mean, they really just turned this shit around on you all. They're using your own money to enslave you and turn you into serfs. So that's my thing for today. And, um, yeah, that's that. I mean, video chat. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I'm 100% convinced that a lot of these, uh, what was it? I even think that Asian bitch that I went to go meet up with, I think she might have been like a five eye spy or some shit like that. I can't get into it. They really do do that shit where they like have like, what is it? It's that shit that I was telling you guys. They, 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 I know for a fact that Canada does it. They, they like hire girls to like be sluts and then like, you know, they sell information back to the Canadian government and they like have persons of interest and all that bullshit. They, they admit to it. They have a YouTube video about it. I'm not really going to go into it all. Maybe I'll find it. Anyways, so all that shit that I said and just remember guys, video chats and, uh, um, you know, what was it? What's the other one? Um, but what I'm saying is, Cause that was for another one because that bitch on uh, the WhatsApp and some other bitch was talking to me and it was like, her, this is almost exactly what the other bitch is saying. And I was like, let's video chat. And I, I, it could have been even, the, could have even been the same bitch just using a different profile. Oh, you know what? Okay. So maybe she's not, she could be a spy or she just could be a moody bitch. Either way, the thing is, it's like, I don't get it. It's like, it's, I don't, I fucking, I'm going to see if I can find that video because it, it, until you see the video, you're going to think I'm making it up. But, like, governments actually do pay people to, like, basically sleep with people to get information from them. I mean, the U.S. does it, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, anyways, all that shit. Merry Christmas. All right, guys. Peace out.